fans well thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog if you're curious what I'm doing today I'm going to answer a lot of your questions and comments about my Bose entertainment system on how I have it hooked up to my Sanyo TV of the component cable and also the digital audio cable from my TV to the Bose unit itself. If you have a newer TV, well, it should have component. If it doesn't, you may have to buy some type of a special HDMI to component cable for it to work. But let's go ahead and show you what I mean, shall we? Alright, if you see this blue screen, that is perfectly normal. That's because the machine is actually booting up just fine. Now, this is my very old Bose unit. If you can't notice, I have it set to TV. This is the setting you want it on. Now, to switch it, you hit this switch button up here. I guess I also on the remote too. And you can just change the stations. But, we're going to go into the menu in a couple minutes, and we're going to show you how to set that up properly. Now, on the back of my Sanyo TV, I have my component cables, the red, the blue, and the green. And this cable right here is my digital cable. That's going out to the bows, and this component cable is going out from the bows to my TV. I'm going to turn you over here where you can kind of see what it all looks like. This is basically everything here. This is basically some digital and some analog uh, connections. This is my digital signal right here, or the audio connection. This is component. This is supposed to be a digital signal as well. But we're going to show you a little trick you need to understand. Let's go ahead and turn off the light here on the camera. And we're going to show you a couple of things. On the actual menu of your Sanyo TV or whatever TV you own, a newer TV, you go into sounds or the sound settings of your TV. Now, we're going to come down here. See TV speakers? You want to turn that off. I have that off. Now, the other important thing is the type of format you're going to use. The digital out format. You want that to be set to this one. That works for me. Now, let's get out of here. Out of that menu. Now we're going to take this own remote. This remote goes to the Bose unit. Now, we have to configure settings on this device for it to work. The proper way. Now you come down here to this one right here. You can see I have it set to TV. Now if that was not on TV, okay hold on, okay if it was actual or none, you will not have any sound. You got TV, cable or satellite, or max. But if you want the sound, you put it on TV. Now, I've been messing around with uh, technology for a very long time, and it works pretty awesome. If I can get the sleep button to exit here. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll figure that out later. But let's go to a different input for the sound. HDMI 1 to the cable box. Is interested in having our host and produce segments of her show. Okay, now this. Master to audition. There is the sound like that. Yes, now, it is, but we're I gonna mute the sound. You kind of notice the sound does work perfectly fine. 
and the picture looks pretty cool. I'm gonna turn that off. Now, that's the proper way to hook up your entertainment system, your Bose unit, to your television. I was getting questions and comments about this older unit of how do I hook it up to a new TV. If your new TV has component or composite, you can use that. But if some new TVs don't have that, well, unfortunately, you may not able to hook up this sound system or entertainment system to your TV. But uh, if you guys and girls are supporting this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And thank you so much for watching. And have a nice day. Catch you in the next one.